welcome to the cloud network today i am going to show you how to install free bsd in a virtual box to install free bsd uh, that is come under the linux uh, another flavor of linux uh, you need to have virtual box and iso image of freebd freebds let me show you uh, both the, this where you can download an app and just open this google and type virtual box the virtual box uh, this is the virtual box where you can download virtual box so that you can install uh, this free videos this is um, latest version 4.316 of windows host and this one is for linux supported uh, this for solaris if you are installing from for virtual box you can have a solaris or if you are in for linux you can have linux and i am from uh, windows no? so i am selecting this one windows so just select this option and it will be a start uh, to be downloading uh, and about the free videos open the uh, google type free videos uh, this is the website of free videos uh, just open the site and here is the website of free bsd uh, this is all about free installation is there uh, there are there are many method and there are many options that you can download free B, bsd uh, from after downloading this uh, you can have uh, much into cd rom or dvd or you can in usb stick so there are many options available and you can download from ftp htp or nfs depending upon this time speed and this is your uh, release version is there 10 this is the latest version 10 as uh, the previously version are 9.3 and 8.4 or uh, if you want to download 8.4 means here is a scroll down and here is a, you can see 9.3 and 8.4 this is a previously this version is there you can download this is the latest release of 10 or uh, this are platform and you can see this is for 64 bit supported uh, motherboard you can click on this iso image and download will be start and here is for 32 bit purpose and this is a titanium motherboard if you have a titanium 64 bit you can have it or uh, this you can see a release note is there hardware note installation about is there how to do it that one and is a power pc if you have power pc means 32 bit you can download this for 64 and this spark 64 bit processor means motherboard you can download this one uh, just I am going to click on AMD 64 bit processor and uh, suppose Intel also and just after clicking on this uh, here is a uh, that here is showing about the FTP or uh, this from you can download FTP this is the boot only image is there it just boot only this one and it's to, to 10 MB and here is a disk one uh, is image to 31 uh, is there and if you require this DVD one and this is a mistake uh main stick um, this one is the 2.3 size mb which i have downloaded this one i just download and here is the latest for time version about this which i have both i have download, downloaded here is the my iso image which i have already downloaded and here is the size you can see about this installation this 2.31 is the size is there and uh, so um, open this virtual box and click on new and give us name the free uh, BSD and here is a 64 bit select 32 bit or 64 bit uh, after selecting this click on next and uh, assign the RAM as much as do not go beyond to the red point uh, stay on the green point create click on create uh, click on allocate uh, just click on next this is the uh, file location and size that means hard disk size uh, by default it will install in C drive and uh, this is the hard disk size which i am going to assign about uh, at least 30 gb you can have your uh, uh, according to a purpose i am changing the location also if you want to keep this you can keep it so click on create it uh, just click on settings uh, we need to have to change some settings uh, here is our systems uncheck this floppy so that it will boot from CD-ROM directly and here is storage we need to assign this ISO image so that can install 
choose the location where you have the download this ISO image click ok assign network uh, after installation we can to access the internet and click on ok and click here for start loading the files so here is the option showing about this one or uh, if you want to install multi user press enter if you want to have boot with single user means just press 2 and command pro you know to go to escape means you can escape for for reboot and fix to configure the options or uh, just press 5 as you can see this is the save mode uh, just press 4 and it will be on if you want to have single move user means on just press 5 uh, it will be on uh, to go back uh, just press backspace and it will be back so so uh, click on single user for one only If you want to for multi user means select two so we need to show you enter the full path name or shell of written or press just press enter so here welcome to the free videos there would like to begin the installation or leave. if you have a live cd rom means or uh, just select this live cd rom and uh, if you want to have shell means you can select just i'm going to select install now press enter uh, and here is we need to uh, select about this uh, language about the keyword by default it will select us so press enter and if you choose a host name for this machine mean we need uh, we need to name a uh, name of this machine enter cloud network depending upon your name you want to give and here it's showing about this uh, option choose option system comment to install this is the component if you want to install means for games fortunate that i'm check this one and that we required this late 32 and port tree we required such a system code if you required or not you can check additional document is required or not you can have check and just uh, press tab and um, press ok and this is would like to have a partition disk uh, if you go for manually means you can select uh, if you want to open the shell from and give a hand means manual like from terminal command you need to give uh, this for automatic root command uh, it will be have a uh, on zfs so partition we record for beginning purpose we go for this option uh, showing this or uh, it will be android disk on erase zero will be uh, share and other operating system using android disk will erase that will if you have any data, uh, data means it will be erased so we go for android disk only and this is your uh, we have already by manually is have been created so slash home and swap has been created so we will go for and i have click on just finish and have a commit to that one so we need to enter the uh, password for new password telling to assign give a password and here is for network press ok would like to configure ip4 for this interface yes i uh, would like to use dscp to configure the yes if you are uh, having static ip address means select no and give a manually ip address to assign uh, just click no we do not require IP version 6 and uh, here is for uh, UTC we need to set uh, by CMOS 
so we need to go to Asia selecting according to which country so select or uh, time according to your country zone yes okay and here so select which country you belong to I belong to India so click on okay and this is your reasonable yes and here is we like to services to start at both time is only this one as a mouse okay and synchronize time network also okay power adjust frequency also okay this is all the services are required at both time we would like to add a user to, inst to install the system now so yes so just go to add a username like i am going to assign something phone name i am going to have a banking dashboard server we are in the default So final configuration has been completed. So it's showing about this. If you want to apply the configuration, whatever you have made the changes needs, it will be need to uh, it will be applied and exit. If you want to change the uh, you will add a new username, you can select this option. If you want to change the root password, you can select this option. So if you want to have a set host name means you can set a host name network configuration for internet purpose. This is services demand on startup if you require which services or not you can have if you want to set up timings you can select this option and this for is for in, in install means handbook means you require internet so we'll apply and exit this configuration so in showing this installation is now finishes before executing the exiting the installation we would like to open the shell in a new system so make the final word modification we we'll put a uh, no Installation of three videos completed. We like to reboot and install. You know, Login here the free videos. Here you can see the files are there, and uh, so you can check. And if you want to go to home directory, means you can have a bunch of things there. So, this is about the end of my installation of free videos. If you get any problem dealing with installation, please have a comment below. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to Audio Cloud Net.